Ladies and gentlemen, a new month has started, the month of November 2024, and that of course also means a new month of the Big Yak Monthly Cup will take place. Today is the very first Monday of the month, which means it's the first chance for you guys, and what the players playing right now basically, to qualify for the monthly final. And this month we actually have a little bit of a special edition, because um, first of all, um, this month's edition is not sponsored by Volvic like the other ones. We actually have a new sponsor, hashtag ad. L'Oreal Man Expert is sponsoring this edition. Hashtag ad, no? Important. <laughs> so we have some special prizes by them, which will be very interesting for the monthly final uh, later this month. And additionally, we also have a very interesting um, format this month, because um, as you guys know, each month I'm using a special type of maps. For example, we already played it on uh, random Trackmania exchange maps. Last month, you guys had the chance to build and submit maps. And this month, we will be using random maps again, but with a twist, because we only use random maps which have an unbeaten offer time. So basically maps with an AT that has never been beaten by anyone. So we're basically where the offer himself holds the world record. And um, in comparison to the previous months, um, where you could qualify either by getting top three in one of the editions or qualifying by points, this month players also have the chance to qualify to the monthly final by beating the unbeaten offer times during the cup, which makes it extra spicy because people can just basically full YOLO and if they beat one of the unbeaten ATs, they can also instantly qualify to the monthly final that way. So basically a third way of qualifying this month. Uh, other than that, it works the same as usual. Uh, we have 15 maps overall on each map. Um, the maps are unknown, of course, to the players. On each map, players have one warm-up where they can discover and learn the map. And then three life rounds. And in each life round, they can, of course, collect points. All of these points will be added up together. Once the players hit the point limit of 6,969 points, they will be in finalist mode. And then they need to win one more round in order to close out the match. Overall, the top five are going to be played out. The top three is instantly going to qualify. The rest of the players are going to win points. Just as always, I guess most of you um, probably already watched older uh, Big Hack Monthly Cups as well. So you should know how it works. But uh, of course, there's a few more things to explain for the um, offer time thing. So the way that is going to work is um, that per map, which has an unbeaten offer time, only the very first player to beat the AT can qualify that way. So in case um, in round one, let's say Elcon beats the offer time and he is first in that round, he will be instantly qualified. If the second player also beats the 18 that round, but he's behind Elcon and Elcon has the fastest time, then Elcon is the only one to qualify. Also, in case uh, Elcon drives the AT in round one and then in round two somebody drives an even faster time, it still doesn't matter, it's only Elcon. So only the very first player to beat the AT will qualify that way. Maybe sounds a little bit complicated, but I think it should be pretty easy to understand. And I would say uh, we're gonna hop straight into the action now. John C, start the room. And tak peng peng. Elkon asking, why am I the example? Good question, because you are fast, probably. <laughs> you just came into my mind. Map number one coming up. And of course, um, we have an overlay here. It's basically where it says uh, tak, the 18.958 in this case. This is the time people have to beat if they want to qualify that way. Also, very important to say, the people who will qualify through this uh, special method of beating an offer time, they will um, qualify on top of the regular 20 qualified people, which means this month's monthly final will probably have more than 20 players. Could be way more, could be only slightly more, because of course these unbeaten offer times are unbeaten for a reason. They are not easy. <laughs> so let's see if somebody's gonna make it, if it will happen today or not. We will see. The warm-up also already counts, by the way. So in case somebody beats the AT in the warm-up, um, that will actually count. So let's see if somebody is going to be able to do that or not. And if not, they have three life rounds to do so instead. So let's see what the fastest warm-up time is going to be. We have the local records on the right, which I am hiding, which is, of course, uh, really bad, actually, now that I know this. <laughs> Let me actually uh, put my camera onto here. Zack. That should make a bit more sense. And the winning time in the warm-up was at 20.9, which means that people uh, yeah, were two seconds behind. Either way, we're gonna go into the first live round because the main uh, idea of the tournament is still to drive good rounds and to uh, qualify that way, obviously. The AT thing is only a bonus, but since it's the first edition and it might be a little bit complicated, um, I decided to explain it a bit more thoroughly. So I hope you guys understand what I mean. And yeah, let's see what's gonna happen in this round. Fuck, there is the... Nah, there is the... Eh? Yeah, now you see... Ach, Mensch. Okay, wait. Now it's fine. <laughs> I'm sorry, we follow. We have too many overlays, guys. I'm gonna snap. So, here's the AT overlay. Here you see the times driven in the rounds at the, on top. Zack. 
And I think this map already looks uh, quite difficult to beat. 1.3 seconds to go for Mitra. Difficult. Of course, as always, we have a lot of good players playing. We have Lars, for example. Marius is here as well. Uh, a lot of the Frenchies are playing, like Mamu Jr., Auris playing, Link playing, Neon also a good player. A lot of good players. Elkon is also here. Elkon definitely a candidate who could technically uh, make it. Let's see, round number two on this map. Let's see, this map also very bad, obviously. <laughs> like, this is not a great map, I would say. Uh, maybe not the easiest map to start the cup with, but uh, yeah, it is what it is. Marain here also cooking, also always a good player. Mitra with a 20.4, so Mitra winning a round again. That's actually crazy. Mitra, second win in a row. He could do the clean sweep on this weird ass map. So maybe he figured out something that others have not so far. Because you see, like Lars, for example, only getting, getting 15 points. Gaunite's Dreik, uh, also only 100 points. So he seems the only one to be consistent at the moment. So let's see if the final round is going to be nice for him as well. But I think the AT here. Uh, very likely to be, uh, uh, very unlikely to be beaten. So, Mitra, what is he doing? Clean bounce here, clean wall right, clean bounce here as well. He is among the top players again. Okay, very clean again. Is he gonna make the clean sweep on a weird ass map like this? 360! And is he gonna make it? Yes! 19.7! Okay, same for Space Lauch, also 19.7, but this run that we just watched is still 0.8 behind the offer time. So you see the AT really is good here. And as I said, there is a reason why these offer times are unbeaten, of course. But yeah, very, very sick effort by Mitra. Winning three out of three rounds on such a weird map. How on earth? And with that, we go over to the next map, which once again might have a possible uh, offer time to beat. The map is called Brain Twister by Stargazer. All right. Brain Twister by Stargazer. One minute long map. And looks rather technical. I did also test the maps, guys. I made sure that they are drivable because a lot of maps that have unbeaten ATs are also ridiculously difficult. So, um, yeah, no, I didn't do that. Okay, anyway, warm up. Mitra in first in the warm up again. That's interesting. Does he know all of these maps? <laughs> That's, of course, also a thing that people might already know the maps and might be close to getting the AT already or something. It's a chance. But yeah, one minute long tech map, um, seems like it will be hard to beat the AT here either. But that's how it's supposed to be. So let's see what people can cook. And let's see if somebody even gets close to it. And also, hello El Diablo! Welcome. So. Uh, oh, we have some lags, I think. Bullshit. I hope everything is fine. That was a bit sussy, but most players are driving, so it should be good. Alright, let's see. Of course, because of this uh, AT format, we're going to focus a little bit more on the top players of each round. Because, uh, yeah, makes sense the most, I guess. So let's focus on Elkon. We didn't spectate him yet. Elkon, of course, a very fast and risky player. And he is definitely one of the candidates who I would expect could qualify like that. Also, very awkward map. We have, like, a cruise control drift here. Elkon is surviving it, though. And it's going to be interesting to see how close he is. And, of course, if you notice that you're close in round one, it is definitely worth it to full risk the other rounds in order to have a chance. Because if you get one of the ATs, you are instantly qualified. It can be very easy this month, technically. The Elkon also with the Neo slides. The AT is a 102.9. Where is the finish again? Ah, the finish is too far away. Elkon definitely not beating it in this round. Actually, not even closely beating it. That's still 1.8 seconds behind. Crazy. Crazy cooked offer time, I think. Ah, never mind. I got it. My bad. Uh... Nein! Ah! Nein, 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 nein! Fuck! Nein! Ach, nee! Nein, I can't... What, what did I press? <laughs> nein! Fuck! Och, nö! What is happening? Ah! Haha! Okay! <laughs> Yuck! <laughs> okay, back into the next round. <clears throat> so. Alright. Should be better now. Okay, we have some massive legs at the start here. I hope for the players it is fine to drive, but nobody did complain about it, so I think it is fine. Uh, is it first time AT to be set in warm-up or best time in warm-up? It is only the first player to get it. And if in one round two people get the AT, it's going to be the one who had the faster time the round. And if somebody drives the faster time the round after, it doesn't matter. So let's see. Helldiver Agent with a good round here. He also has the Zack tech, so if you have Zack as your club tech, then you are definitely quite fast. 
So let's see what he's gonna cook. Going for a no slap, but touching in the free will, which means he will lose multiple seconds. Not very uh, good from him. But can happen, of course. It's a hard map. In the meantime, we have Elkon, Lars, Redwolf, and Mareintje fighting. Let's see. I'm not sure if Elkon is on a faster time than before. Or not. But yeah. Yeah, we even have the mapper in the chat. Null is in the chat. So Null, how good would you say is your AT here? How hunted is it? We have a 104.8 by Fredwolf, which is a tenth slower than Elkon's time in the previous round. Okay, next round. And the final round on this map here. Points-wise, this is how it's looking. Mitra still in first, but Arpa, Elkon, Dennis Valegen, Hobbit as well, also Lars, Vosail are uh, getting closer to it. Very interesting that Vosail is playing. I'm not sure if I've ever seen Vosail playing this cup. That's cool to see. I know Skandir played a couple of times. Oh, Fred Wolf. <laughs> Holy moly. Uh, but Vosail, I think, didn't play yet. You actually want him, Ben? No, but give him a warning. <laughs> in the middle of the round. <laughs> In the meantime, we have El Diablo with five gift subs. Thank you very much, El Diablo. Appreciate it. Going to Sochi, Ayok Striker, Midnight, Amivalia, and Heavyweights. Thank you very much, El Diablo. Oil Diablo is back. Let's go. Okay, this time we have uh, slightly different people in the lead. Mimo Jr. currently leading the round over uh, Elkon, Tark, and Hill. So let's see. Oh, Elkon going for a very interesting strat there. I'm not sure if that was intended. Looks like he went for a wall ride. But also here, nobody close to the AT. It is uh, Mimo Jr. driving a 104.8 again. So people are, yeah, in each round, basically the winning time was almost two seconds behind the AT. Let's see if even one AT will be beaten today because it really is not easy. Like you only have three rounds, like, or like four rounds with the warm up. Like that's crazy hard. It is crazy hard. The map is called Uldum by Pawnee. And what was this map again? Uh, I think this was just a pretty solid dirt map, if I remember correctly. Actually, we have, like, even though it is unbeaten ATs, and a lot of these unbeaten ATs are, like, giga long and hard maps, I had to filter them out, of course, because we're not going to play 10 minute long maps in this cup. And the maps remaining mostly were actually pretty solid maps, which is kind of cool. Let's see if anybody is going to get close in the warm-up. Probably not, because I think, if I remember correctly, the route here was not too easy to uh, see slash understand. Let's maybe follow Lars on his warm-up adventure and let's see what is going to happen here. So we go down like this. Ping, right turn, left turn. Dirt outside probably. Then here you jump up. You want to jump here actually. Some people saw that instantly. Good focus to Lars, Croxy and Marijn. Then here, smooth right turn. Then here is a hole where you want to go to the left side. Otherwise, you have a very awkward angle for this turn. So Lars with the best warm-up by far so far. And here, down. Can skip a little bit of the sand, perhaps. And here, small water part. But you instantly dry your tires. Lars actually with a water bounce. That's, of course, not what you want to do. Let's go into Marijn here instead. And here you have a right turn. No slide. Dropping down. Then another dirt outside turn here. And then a jump up to the... Finish. Warm up winning time a 48.1. Offer time a 43.7. That is crazy. But a pretty cool map. I don't think anybody can complain. Can we swap track of the day with this? Sampler says. That's yeah, actually a really good map. Like, this could easily be a track of the day, to be honest. Pretty good map. Like, almost too normal for the Big Cake Monthly Cup. But I mean, the Big Cake Monthly Cup is about random maps very often and, like, about everything. So, and everything can also mean good maps. So sometimes we have good maps here, and sometimes we absolutely don't. Alright, Marijn not with the greatest start into the round, so he is very likely not on pace to get the AT. But a few others had um, a better start. For example, Elkon once again. Elkon probably set himself the personal challenge to uh, beat one of the ATs. That's at least how I... Uh My name is Elkon and I respawned. That's at least how I would expect him to play. Full risk, full YOLO. But it will be interesting to see. Do you guys think it will happen, guys? Chatters. And also YouTube comments, in case uh, nobody is making it this week. Do you think it's even gonna happen a single time today? Or maybe in the entire month? I mean, we have three... Uh, overall, there is four, up to 45 maps. Do you think it's gonna happen? No, yes, no, 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 nope, yes, no, no, okay. Yeah, not too many believers. And look at this, Mitra and Elkon got really bad points. And look, we have a close fight. Nobody is really running away in terms of points. Everybody can still make it. The entire top 10 only within 500 points, which is basically one round only. 
So nothing is set in stone here. And I mean, most players will qualify the normal way, because uh, as you guys probably know, in each weekly qualifier, the top three will instantly qualify to the monthly final. Uh, the fourth and the fifth place will get a bonus in points. Everybody who gets a f uh, gets into finalists without closing it out also gets a bit of a bonus in points. <coughs> and then everybody else just gets the points that they had when the cup ended, basically. And it seems like this water bounce is quite a problem. Marijn also failed it now, and look how much time he's losing. It's like multiple seconds. Crazy. But many people still up in front here. Vostal also with a good line, catching up and overtaking a few more players. And we have a 45.4 winning time by Link. And it's actually now scroll in first. Or is it is it scroll or is it Hobbit? It's so confusing, man. It's scroll, right? <laughs> Followed by three Frenchies and then by Lars. But as I said, anything still possible. Some people fully crashing out in the start here. Crazy. Dirt outside here, scroll getting it the best together with Marius. Marius, of course, also playing today. Pretty much as every week. <laughs> Hasn't it been years since Hobbit was actually called Hobbit? That is kind of true, yeah. This drop here seems very awkward, by the way. But most people are getting it somewhat nicely and uh, everybody getting a bounce. But some people got like a worse water bounce. Like that part seems a bit weird. And look, looks actually like Marius could win this round here if he managed to stay ahead. But Arpa had a perfect third outside turn. Scroll touching in the very last one. And it's Marius actually only in third place. We have once again a new record by Arpa. 45.40. But not enough at all to qualify directly. Maybe a small explanation why, uh, how, did, how I even came to the idea that um, to do it on unbeaten offer times. But there is basically is um, a little bit of a long-term project going on in Trackmania where players try to beat every single um, yeah every single offer time in the game, so that every single one is um, beaten. They actually got that far with the project that out of the 100,000 first maps that have been uploaded to Trackmania Exchange, only um, two maps are not beaten, but 99,998 are beaten, which is pretty crazy. Okay, that was one number too much, you know what I mean. <laughs> Only two basically unbeaten out of the first 100,000. Or the or maps are of course broken and possible. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we have some altered Nadeo. We have SO7 flooded by Dark Kirby. And Dark Kirby, if I saw it correctly, is on the server. And that would be crazy. It's his own map. He only needs to beat his own offer time to make it. That is pretty crazy. Uh, maybe in case you guys are wondering what the hell this map even is about, um, this is basically from the Spring 2020 campaign, which was um, a campaign built by the Alpha members of the game before the game even came out. So it's called the Spring 2020 campaign, even though the game only came out in Summer 2020. And uh, yeah, this is one of the maps, which is funnily enough a remake of TMNF. And the altered version is uh, that it's flooded, so like half of the map is underwater basically. Very dank, never question altered Nadeo. <laughs> so let's see what's gonna happen here. We have a lot of wet tires, of course. Reactor boost as well going on. Very crazy shit. Holy moly, eh? everybody sliding out. Looks like a lot of fun. Then also here you have reactor up. You have reactor up. You can cut a little bit over it. And Machrein hitting the hitting the pole. That's of course very unfortunate. Winning time is a 23.0 by Fredwolf, which is 1.6 seconds behind the AT. Yeah, my name is Machreinchen and I'm too fast for the map. Oh my god, what a shit map. <laughs> what a yak map. Marijn, what about releasing a little bit? Oh, no way. <laughs> Machreinchen, what are you doing? Uh... <laughs> will he finish, ladies and gentlemen? Yes, he will. GG Marijn, 97 for him. Banger. So, <laughs> yeah, I want the third map back. Yeah, but I mean, it's the Big Yak Monthly Cup after all. It is just what it is. Nothing you can do. So let's see. Uh, wait, Cat Begasm says I have the record on this. Don't die. Uh, I don't know, maybe? Oh, you have a 22.45 and you say the map is mud. Okay, so uh, most likely nobody will beat the AT here. But honestly, it's cool. Like, let me know what you think about this in the YouTube comments as well. Oh my god, Marijn! Holy shit! He roof hit on the top and only with that got into the finish. That's crazy. But well, let me know what you think about this idea to add some extra spice to qualify by beating one of the unbeaten ATs. Like it adds some spice and we also help the, the unbeaten AT project. Pretty cool if you ask me. 
Wait, we pop it in the chat? Good luck, guys. Bye bye. <laughs> Thank you very much, Hobbit. Uh, the scroll, ach man. Shit is so confusing. Okay, so who do we follow now? I only spectate the same people. Dennis fully sliding out. Absolute Omega Bonk by him. That is, of course, not very good. Oh, very inside line here, though. Will he bonk the finish or will he not? No, looks good by him. He hits the finish here, but it's fine. 22.75 uh, by Toto, but once again. AT is 21.4, so also here, nobody is getting it by the looks of it. And we have a map called Mapping Crimes, hashtag 9, work, wait, WPI? Isn't it WIP for work in progress? Anyway, maybe it has a different meaning. Built by Bully Ranger, which is kind of funny because Bully Ranger also is sometimes in the chat. And this map is very, very bad, I can tell you that much, um, because it is on plastic. You have wet tires and you also have icy tires. And in case you guys are aware, <laughs> work progress in, yeah. In case you guys are aware, when you have 100% wet and 100% icy tires on plastic, you basically have uh, ice slide physics on plastic. So you can ice slide on normal plastic blocks. The thing is, um, on this map, um, you will lose a little bit of the icy tires. And because of that, you can not do normal ice slides. So you just basically have no grip without being able to do anything, as you can see. So it is very dank. Also here, uh, very easy to skip a checkpoint, actually. There is a ring, very important. So don't jump out here, guys, like Marius did. But as you guys can see, you just have no grip. And let's just say there is a reason why the map is called Mapping Grimes. Like, it's just very bad. Look, you just slide, you cannot do shit. So very freaking dank. But maybe some of the players have um, experience with this kind of mechanic, if you can call it that way. So maybe somebody has a chance of getting this. I have no idea. Let's see the warm-up winning time. It is... Nobody's finishing. What is happening? It is a 57.74 by Varys. A lot of people skipped the checkpoint accidentally. And uh, yeah, that is a solid 7.4 seconds behind, <laughs> behind AT. So yeah, no? I think <laughs> rather unlikely that somebody's gonna get it, but you never know. Definitely a Yek map. Like for the Big Yek Monthly Cup, I think this is a map. Um, yeah, very, very normal map. <laughs> so we also have a backside here, in case you guys didn't see it, into an ice slice. Very dank. Very, very dank. And yeah, here at this small road part, ah, yeah, true, at this small road part, you lose a little bit of icy tires and a little bit of wet tires. And that's why you cannot do the normal ice slides. And look at this Hagen, actually with a very good line up in front. Never mind, he slid out. Then booster up the hill here. Zack. Oh, and did I just see a cut by Faussage? I think there is a cut. I think there is a cut. Wait a second. There is a cut. Look at this. You know what you can do? You can get... Um, I mean, technically, you can standing respawn from the ring, or like after the ring, and go back here. And then you can jump out, but I don't know if that's faster. Hard to tell. And the winning time is a 53.4 by Link. Hmm, that's three seconds behind AT. Maybe there is a chance. Maybe there's a chance. <laughs> yeah, yeah, figure, but like with the respawn, maybe it's faster. I have no idea. I don't know, you never know. So what is Lars actually doing? I didn't spectate Lars yet. Lars not Omega cooking this edition so far. And he's usually one of the absolute favorites, but of course, with the finest mode, anything is possible. So you never know. So let's see. Does Lars have any strat for this year? Ah, he angles his car like 60, 70, 80 per percent degree, I mean. Looked pretty good. He had a good line and kept the speed. We have GK and K and... F what did Elkon do? <laughs> Yek. Also, intentional wallbang here by Lars. Interesting. Now you see, like, also here it's plastic, people have zero grip, it's absolute mud. Not fun to drive at all, it is indeed a mapping grime. And we have Fred Wolf coming to the finish with a 53.1, which is again an improvement, but yeah, still 2.7 seconds, 2.8 seconds even, behind the AT, so I think it's not gonna happen. So really only Link running away, which is impressive, because Link, um, I think, played for the first time in the previous month. Um, but he seems to be really good at this uh, format as well. Or he just likes today's maps, or play, just plays smart, I have no idea. But no matter what he's doing, he's doing it good. Some people are going so inside here, that's crazy, look at this. Like, looked like Lars got a what is Intax doing? <laughs> Intax didn't get around. And now look at this Lars line, Lars really figured out the perfect angle to, um, 
have the most amount of grip, but also to uh, have speed. Pretty good stuff by Lars here. So let's see what's gonna happen in the ending. He is also going for a wall bank here. Will he have a better line here now? Because he lost out on quite a bit. Oh, he's fully sliding out. Look at this. And some others are not. So actually, I see the potential for beating the AT here. But also on this map, it is not gonna happen. Once again, a 53.31. And look at this. Centrian and uh, Gaunite Strike within 3,000. That's crazy. Good race by them, but still far away from the AT. Anyway, we go over onto the next map. And the next map is called... Polarize, built by XLRB and by Capman. And for those of you who are a little bit deeper in the game, when you hear those names, you know exactly what style it's gonna be. It is, of course, a full-on ice map. And I am pretty sure we're not gonna see anyone beating this AT, because if it's a cooked ice AT, then, yeah, good luck, have fun. Well, it already has 16 downloads. Okay, people are apparently not very eager to play ice. Fair, I understand it, to be honest. We also have some interesting blocks here. It looks like cut-off bobsleigh blocks, kind of. But there is no real bobsleigh. It is full uh, full on ice. And it's actually a really good ice map. Like, it is ice. Yeah, I know ice. Yuck. But for an ice map, it is really good. Can't complain about that. But yeah, of course, uh, on ice, if you don't get the clean lines and you have the wrong gear, no matter how good the map is built, you are most likely in the mud. So we will probably see a ton of slide outs and barely anyone um, getting clean runs through. So it's gonna be interesting. But it's a really good map, like this could be cup of the day as well. So let's see, who are our ice abusers? What about Elcon? Elcon, like Elcon isn't really playing ice, he just learned it like super quick. And especially back in the days, he was just really, really good at it. And he just has the skill for the precise break tips and stuff. So Elcon, even though he's not an ice player, he is one of the best ice players. If that makes sense. <laughs> and I mean, he is proving that in this round, very clean lines, he knows where to go. He knows how much he needs to break in order to get the lines through and that is a beautiful run and I am pretty sure even if he survives it like this he will at least be a second behind AT because uh, yeah ice but that is a damn clean run by him you cannot say anything about that and that is a 41.8 and that run was clean as fuck but 1.5 seconds to slow ladies and gentlemen I love ice Mitra is also an ice Andy. Okay, aware. Aware, aware, aware. Mitra also one of the fellow Dutchies playing. So we once again have the Dutchie gang with like Machayan, Dennis, Mitra. They're always here. Did I just see Mitra sliding out or did I see that wrong? Okay, I saw it wrong. But Mitra having no speed up the hill, so very awkward line for him. I think this round is rather mud. And apparently the world record on this map is 8,000 away from the AT. That is uh, kind of funny. <laughs> Who has it actually? Who has the current record? Also currently we have Intux actually doing really good. Intux looks like he's gonna win this round. 41.5! Okay! Intux the Ice Chef. Not bad. Not bad, not bad, not bad. It's Cat Girl. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. <coughs> Who do we spectate? What about... What about Fred Wolf? Fred Wolf also always playing. How good is he on ice, actually? I have no freaking clue. Pretty sure he's at least pretty good at it. But maybe he is actually a chef. You never know. Current chef of the round is Elcon by the looks of it. Very clean line by him. Okay, wait a second, stop. All eyes on Elcon. Maybe he has a chance to get the AT. He is one second ahead of the others. 1.2 seconds. Elcon, does he have a chance? Will he qualify this way? Ah, uh, he has to readjust and it is, I think, too slow. 40.74 though. Very good run by Elcon. Very nice time. Sadly, 0.4 too slow. And I'm pretty sure he lost at least like 0.2 in the final turn. But that is a crazy good run for rounds. Like crazy, crazy good. Very impressive by Elcon. But sadly, not enough. Okay, Link, once again, not with the greatest points. So, Vosal and Fredwolf now also getting more and more close to him. And the next map is called Incandesce by Smithy. And this map, holy moly, this map is cooked. This map is very cooked. And honestly, on this map, I could see Elcon making it as well. Because we have a wood map. And it's like 50% wet wood, 50% normal wood. And uh, the way this basically works is um, you start on normal wood. 
And whenever you go through a section where you have the plastic, the blue plastic on the left or right, you get slightly wet tires and you will have wet tires on the next wood. And then when you go through dirt or something, which dries the tires, you basically get normal tires again. So it is um, very, very confusing, to be honest, to um, drive this map nicely because you basically either instantly have to notice what grip you have or you need to remember. So we're going to see a lot of people like randomly steering out because they think they have a uh, full wood grip, but they only have wet wood grip or yeah, it's it's difficult. Trust me, it's difficult. So let's see, Elcon. Yeah. Also, in the beginning, we have a transition, which is not too easy. So now, wet wood, peng. It is a really good map, though, but it's really hard. So now you get dry tires, which means now normal wood. Then here, wet tires again, wet wood. It is very, very hard. You see, the map is also quite fast, so you have to react super quickly. And you also have free wheel. Then here, you dry the tires again, which means normal wood grip. Then here, wet tires again. Also wet tires still. Still wet tires, wet tires, wet tires. Now dirt, now normal tires again. Normal tires for this turn. It's very confusing. Now wet tires again. Zack, zack, zack. Zack, wet tires, wet tires. It is super, super difficult. Trust me. I was very confused when I played this as well. But I think you guys know how it works. And we're going to see who basically manages to adapt the best. The thing is, while testing this map, I only play each map for like a couple of minutes to see if it's finishable. Um, I had it that in this section here, where you're supposed to get wet tires, I actually did not get wet tires for some reason. And with that, I was way too fast then for the rest of the map, like, I don't know, like, it's super, super weird. Uh, how do you get wet tires? Um, basically, there is water being block mixed into this. It's a bit hard to see, but you see, this is a pool here. And even though you don't see the pool, you drive over water, basically. So let's see. Is Elcon aware? I don't know how hard the AT is. Uh, the <laughs> the warm-up winning time was a one minute uh, flat. AT is 46 seconds, which is kind of crazy. And Elcon so far the leader of this round. Let's follow him to just see what he's on. Wet tires, ping. Ah, he clips. Okay, unfortunate for him, which means Marainte will most likely overtake. What about the others? Actually, Centrian at first. Never mind. Centrian. Normal wood here. Normal wood, normal wood, normal wood. Here the very fast ending section. Normal wood, normal wood. Yeah. And then here you get wet tires again. Ping. Wet tires, wet tires, and then wet tire flick into the finish. And Centrian getting sniped in the last second by Marainti. And ladies and gentlemen, we are a solid 7 seconds behind offer time. Very cooked map to be honest. Very cooked map. But very fun one as well. Alright, what is gonna happen next round? We have two more rounds on this banger of a track. I mean, the map is like really good, but it's so difficult that it's actually Yak again. Actually, perfect map for cup, uh, for the Big Tech Monthly Cup. Not gonna lie. Literally perfect. Elkon once again far in the lead. Let's see if he's gonna survive this time, or if he's not. So, wet tires here. Elkon not clipping the same spot again, and he is on a clean run. Let's see if he's able to survive it. Oh, he almost crashed here. So, arguably not the greatest speed. Going down here, now the final wet tire section, very fast, very hard to survive, and he is gonna finish with a 49.1, which is an insane improvement. Second place is 3 seconds behind, so Elcon cooked a lot, but he is still 2.3 seconds to slow, which is kinda crazy. Elcon now also uh, in the third place of the total cup, Link still in first, Link now um, 1000 points away from AT, uh, from uh, finalist. So let's see, all eyes on... El Kohn. Is he cooking in... All eyes on Lars. So. Lars should be experienced with Redwood as well. Just from playing a lot of random map shit. So let's see if he's gonna make it or not. Looking good so far. You don't need to drive fast. Look, everybody is crashing basically, so you just need to survive yourself. And Purple didn't get the wet tires, you saw it there. Like, Purple thought he had wet tire properties, but he didn't. And that's why he just fully yoinked to the left. Like, that part is sadly bad. Oh, Jan van Achter with the full bonk, Lars with the full bonk, everybody with the full bonk. And it's Pash with a 51 winning time. Yeah, crazy, eh? That is kinda crazy. What a hard map, eh? Super, super difficult. Like, good, but also difficult, but also a little bit random. Like, this map has everything. Like, the, the idea um, with having only unbeaten maps is from my chat. 
But then the idea with that you can qualify is basically from me. So Chad and me work together and now we have something really cool. And talking about something really cool, ladies and gentlemen, were you ever interested in playing Fall 2023? Uh, map 02, there and back, where you basically have to go to the finish and then all the way back. If not, then you're probably not alone, but here we are now. Alternadeo is back in the business. There and back 02. <laughs> Let's see, people will very likely not enjoy this, but that's how it is. <laughs> 55.4 winning time, uh, offer time by Jumper. And Jumper is a good player, so also this one will not be easy for sure. So let's see. Of course, the normal map here, it's map 02 of this campaign. Not too difficult. You have the big jump in the ending. And then here in the water, you have to turn around. Optimally keep a lot of speed. Elcon doing it very smart. Elcon is such a big brain. Elcon doing it really, really smart. And then, uh, yeah, basically go back <laughs> where you came from. Very great mapping. Great idea of an altered campaign. I mean, this is basically like the reverse campaign, but um, it's also like, but the normal map in front. So uh, yeah, what a what a great map, I would say. Let's see what the uh, warmer winning time is gonna be. It looks like CJ is taking it, and he has okay CJ with a 58.0, and Elcon had respawns. I think. Wait a second. I think this is doable. I think this is for real doable, especially especially if Elcon. Um, is getting his good turnaround again. This one is doable. We need to focus on that this round. This one legit doable. I'm pretty sure Elcon maybe already had it in his Copium timer. Because he respawned here once and he also had it bad in his respawn. So let's see. Elcon! No, Elcon is yak. Elcon wicked but not good. <laughs> I mean he will still get a good position because he just has the line here. But um, yeah. Okay, it looks like Limpan is in first. Where is Limpan? Limpan. Limpan is indeed in first, but we also have purple overtaking. Okay. This one is really doable. I, I, I have trust. Somebody can get it. Purple also doing a no slide. Giga chat. And Centran holding a beautiful SD. Centran actually having a bit more speed, but I think purple will take this round. What is the time going to be though? It is... 57.0. Guys, this one is doable, I think. In the meantime, um, we should also focus on the finalists soon because uh, Fredwolf and Elcon and Link could all reach it on this map. Same for Valegen and Dennis, te 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 technically, but will be hard. So, come on, guys, focus up. One round and you could instantly be qualified to the monthly final. What in the Elcon line was that? Interesting jump. Limpan going over the grass. That's not very good. This time, Elcon with a better release. Jumping quite far left. Oh, he's almost jumping too far. Now getting the good turnaround. Getting the slide out. No, he goes all the way. Okay, he's really slow. And some, oh, someone is really far ahead. Croxy. Okay, Croxy. Where is Croxy? Where is he? Where is he? Why is he 38? Ah, oh, but that's bad speed. That's bad speed, eh? He is still in first, but I think it's not going to be enough either. That's not enough. But closer and closer. 56.7. But Elkon and Vredwolf. And maybe Dennis could get finalists now if they get a good round. So let's see. So obviously on the beginning of this map, you want to reduce a lot of airtime optimally. Some people are doing it. Some others are rather not doing it. <laughs> and then also here you want to land smooth early speed slide and then basically carry that speed into the finish so let's see what is the turnaround strat from the others oh croxy with a really bad turnaround this time and we do have quite a few people doing it good how did elcon get it this time elcon actually in first interesting so will we see a new pb a new local record by elcon here keeping grip no slide into SD now. That's exactly how you want to do it. Ah, sadly, very bad gear change. And also, this is not going to be enough, sadly. It is a 56 as well, but the 55.4 was just too strong, actually. Damn. Unfortunate, but nice try by the players. Very nice try. 
All of the players finishing, and Elkon now is in finals though. So even though he didn't get any of the ATs, he is in finals and could just qualify the normal way. <laughs> so let's see if he's gonna pull it off or not. I still remember from testing there were some cool maps that are still missing. Also one map um, which I could definitely get the AT on because it was like a... Is it actually this map? No, it's not. But there was a map uh, which was like tech combined with snow car. But this map here also full on tech map. Um, built by Meru called Lee, full on tech. I think this one might also be doable because look at this, my my discovery run. This was like my very first try was not too far away. I mean, three seconds, yeah, but you know, for the very first try, maybe people can do more with uh, three more rounds. Let's see, let's see, let's see. We're going into the warm up, of course. That's why we follow Link because Link, actually, really good map for Link because Link is, of course, mostly a tech player. And a map like this could save his uh, booty in finalist. He just needs to make sure to get it now the next try, but for that he only needs 130-ish points. So should be doable for him. But you never know. And even if you're a tech player, not that easy to make it here, of course, because there is, uh, yeah, many other players who can be good at this as well. 10 gifted and someone beats an AT. Okay, guys, you need to extra focus now. You need to extra focus now. Very important. And hello, Arthur. So let's see. Here's the finish. Overall, definitely a simple map. Nothing too crazy. And Elkon with a 44.7. Two seconds behind in the first try. Okay. Let's see. Is anybody going to have a chance or not? First of all, let's focus on Elkon. Just because he is in finalist. So if, if he wins the round, he is of course qualified to the monthly final either way. Because that's how it works. The top three... Will um, the top three will qualify to the monthly final? So Elcon could be the first one to do it, and this round looks quite promising for him. He is ahead of the others, but people are still close. Most silas there. Oh, he has to release. Valegen is coming. Valegen could be the one denying here, but Valegen touching. There is someone else though. I don't know who it is. I think it's still Vosile. Different lines here. Is Elkon gonna win it? Is he gonna make it? Clean line by him and I think that's the GG for Elkon. Either way, Elkon the first one to qualify to the monthly final. Not by beating an AT, but by doing it the traditional way. The very first player to be qualified for the monthly final. Well played. GG. Good job to Mr. Elkon. Nice one. But we have more finalists now. Link, Valegen, or oh, Fredwolf barely missing it. That's unlucky. Dennis also missing it, Vosal also missing it. Okay, so we only have Link and Balegen now. So let's see if one of them is gonna make it or not. We also had a 44.1 winning time, by the way, by Elkon. So also here, seems like the AT is a little bit too difficult. Big bonk here by Bebok. So let's follow the finalists, aka Valegen and Link. Different lines here, some people going outside pole. Oh, Link misjudging the drift. He landed on the border, but he survived. That was crazy lucky by Link. Holy moly, that was lucky. Not gonna lie. Okay, he is being chased by Wosal. Wosal also really good at quick learning tech. So that's gonna be very interesting. But Link with the battle line. He has a point one lead going into the second to last slide. But Wosal with an insane inside line. Is he gonna deny his French amigo? It does look like it. Wosal will deny with a 43.40. Okay, we're only point... Yeah, 75 away from AT. Being in the top three, basically insta qualify, fourth and fifth place. Huge amount of points, big point bonus. Being finalist, small point bonus, and the rest just gets the points they collected, basically. So, Vosile versus Link. I think this will be the fight for this round as well. So let's see, is anyone gonna make it or not? Also, Mario is not too far away, same for Lars, but it seems like one of them is gonna get to second place here. And it seems like Vosal is it. Uh, Vosal it's gonna be because the ending is very easy to save. Vosal getting it pretty clean and that is a GG for Vosal. 42.87, okay. He almost did the double qualify basically. Only 0.2 behind AT. So sadly, not 10 gift subs for me. But it is a ticket for Wosile to the monthly final. Well done. Well deserved. Good map for him. Good performance. Nice. GG. Who's gonna be next? Or like... Nine. We have a map by Dark Kirby again. And this map actually... Okay, this map, yeah. Wait, what? Fredwolf just hunted this. Wait, what? That's crazy. If that's true, that's crazy. 
Uh, yeah, Kirby of the Day, number 39, Kirby's Hotel. And this was actually a really cooked map. Like, this one is really, really cool. So let's maybe follow Fred Wolf if he knows the map. That's, of course, um, insanely good for him. Oh, this is from Sunday. Okay, I think Marius knows this as well. So this was used on a cup on Sunday. So this map. It's literally a hotel. Look, we have like a turning, like a spinning door here. Then you go up the stairs. Up the stairs through the PC area here. It's a really cool map to be honest. And here you have a risky jump. Where you go like this. Bonk. Go down. And then in the ending, first of all, you have another uh, Dingsbums part here. Ain't no way, he's stuck. Lil bro is stuck. What is Fred Wolf doing? But then in the ending, you have uh, elevators. Different elevators, um, which open at a different time. And then you just go up and finish. And Dark Kirby himself did a 36.0. So yeah. And Fred Wolf has a 32.67 from today. That's crazy. But honestly, he should just try to save it and he would easily win this round. Like, he will easily make it if he knows the map and knows what to do. Like, he doesn't need to risk for AT now to qualify that way. That would be kind of stupid, to be honest. But what a cool map, though, right? This is really cool. Really nicely built by, uh, by, by Dark Kirby. Like, Dark Kirby can not only build altered stuff, he can also build this. And look at this, Marius. Oh, no, Marius is stuck. Who's gonna get the best elevator? People are waiting, people are waiting. People are going up here. Who is gonna be the first one? Many people are gonna come out of the elevator. Who is the first? The elevator is coming up. It's gonna be... It's still Fred Wolf in the ending. 36.2 by Fred Wolf. GG. Fred Wolf also, quali also qualified to the monthly final. I mean, of course, that was very lucky for him, to be honest. Very, very lucky for him. He was not even in the lead. Like, Link and some others were uh, faster than him. But, uh, yeah, in the ending, he got the best elevator timing. Crazy. Okay, anyway, uh, maybe somebody has the chance to beat the AT, though. I don't know if Link or someone was close to it. The AT seems really cooked. Like, it seems like you need a really good run for it. But it's also a lot about uh, moving block timing, basically. So, um, yeah, we will see. No? We will see. So here you want to risk the first door, of course. Many people are getting that nicely. Then here, low air time. Low air time. Centran getting that really nice. Having enough speed up here. Tuck, bonk, drop down. And then here, push, 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 push for the moving block. Apparently, this is the best cycle and Link has it good. What is the best cycle that they're going to go for? No, they all have to wait here. They all have to wait in front of the red one. Ah, oh, that's unfortunate. The, the timing seems to be really, really yak. It is once again a 36.1 winning by Space Lauch. But it seems like you can definitely get a faster cycle. Like, you have to be able to. Will someone cook an offer time? That would be so cool, though, for the story. That's why you follow it in Camp 7, because it's a bit easier to see then what's happening down here. Because you just drop down and you need to keep speed. Oh, Maimo Jr. <gasps> Maimo Jr. Maimo Jr. He has the faster cycle. Can he get a faster elevator? Nein, he cannot. No. Oh, he could have gotten it. He could have probably gotten a faster one. Damn, he had it so good. It's always the same elevator people come through. Yeah, it's Go Night Strike with the win here. 36.1. But Maimo Jr., I'm pretty sure, had the potential to go faster. I am pretty sure he had the potential to get a faster one. And the next map is called You Can Try, number 20, by Bren OK. Bren OK with a map. So not the normal Bren, it's only Bren OK. <laughs> Let's see what's gonna happen in the warm-up. So, people going for a drift. We have a speed check here, which is quite tricky to be honest. We need to make this jump here. Gotta get a good line beforehand. Then you have reactor down part. Where you go over here. And if you have enough speed, you can basically do um, a big on speed check where you jump all the way over here but you need a clean line for that so then here we have some tech coming up another section like that where you want to do a neo slide optimally take the speed jump up land clean in the slope which you really need good speed for and then in the ending you have um, another jump where you want to get up here which is also not too easy you can do this strat that croxy is doing but you can make everything clean um, another left drift here. Zack, zack. And then you just jump down back to the starting area. With a very unsmooth landing. And then the finish is behind the start, basically. With a beam. Very interesting map. CJ barely finishing with a 105.1. AT is 46 seconds. So maybe there's also a cut here. I have no idea. Looks like it could be. But um, 
Yeah, very hard to tell, to be honest. Very hard to tell. Let's see, let's see, let's see. And Electro Knut, thank you for the two year resub. Ja, moin. Thank you very much, man. Okay, Lois with uh, an extraordinary good slide. Very nice. Gaining point one on everyone else. Also, here, nice inside line by Lois. Now, here you want a good line to have good speed. Is he gonna make the jump? Yes, but a bit too far to the left. So he's getting overtaken by Purple and by Valegen. And some others are also getting closer and closer. Then here, Neo slide, very awkward part to be honest. You wanna go a bit outside in order to have enough speed to make the jump because it is quite a tough speed check. Purple is the only one who's getting it. Is Purple finalist though? No, he is not. Which means we are most likely gonna see at least another two rounds after this. Unless he's gonna fail the finish, which is kinda hard to be honest. So let's see if he's gonna make it or not. He is jumping into the finish and that is a 48.1. Okay, we are only 1.9 seconds behind AT. And Purple didn't have the greatest start. So maybe possible? Maybe? I don't know. Hard to tell. Let's see. Okay, a lot of minus minuses flying in. We have a hydrate, yeah. So let's see. Purple now with a better start. It would be so cool if somebody gets the AT. Oh, he's also going for it. He's going for it. Okay, okay, okay. I respect your balls. I respect the balls, the balls of purple. The thing is, if he wins the round without making it... Oh, very, very wide Neo slide. It's actually very good because he is probably gonna make the jump. Is he? No, there's the push. No, he gets a bump. No, he gets the speed boost. Holy shit. But he... No, he gets... No, he parks his car. No. <laughs> it's Hill in first now. What the freaking fuck happened there? And it's actually Hill denying all of the finalists. Hill. F oh my god, this was so doable. This AT is so doable. Hill only a second behind. Less than a second behind. And Purple was so far in front though. This is doable. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Aua. Ah, but Lars not with the greatest line here. He's surviving though, but this doesn't look like AT pace to me. But of course it could look like a uh, finalist pace, because uh, Lars is finalist. So will he get the landing clean? No, he will not. Will he get the speed boost? Oh, he barely makes it. Okay, that's very important for him. He is being chased though by Maimo Jr. But Lars has really good speed, but Maimo Jr. has even more speed. Will Maimo Jr. snipe? The finish might decide it. I think it's Lars. It is Lars. 46. Oh my god, this AT was so doable, man. Oh, that's actually so sad, eh? This was really doable. This was a doable offer time. Somebody could have qualified here. It was possible. But anyway, Lars getting fourth with that. Winning 15,000 points towards the monthly leaderboard, which is a very good starting position. He is not safe to qualify yet, but if he just plays the other editions, he will definitely make it. And I mean, it's Lars. Lars is one of the best players who always plays this. So, um, yeah. Not very unlikely that's gonna happen. We have one map left. Maybe somebody has a chance of clo <laughs> of getting AT on that one. That would be crazy. Wet Icy Wood number 27 by Reigekon. That is great. And don't we have Haken on the server? Haken is really good on Wet Icy Wood. I know that. Marius maybe has a chance here as well, but um, yeah, no, yeah, definitely a banger map. I'm pretty sure the AT here will not be beaten, so it actually seems like, uh, yeah, we will stay on zero unbeaten ATs today. And Hagen is at 4.8k points. Imagine Hagen defeats everyone here. That would be crazy. But it's a weird wet icy wood map, to be honest. So for those of you who are not aware, when you have <coughs> when you have 100% wet tires and 100% icy tires on wood, you have very, very weird physics. We also had a troll cup of the day like that, I think two months ago. It is really hard to control. Basically, when you steer too much into one direction, your steering is locked into that direction. And people are going for a cut. That is interesting, but I'm not sure if the cut is actually viable. Because it's very hard to turn around here. I'm yeah, not sure. But you could. Yeah, nah, yeah, hmm. nah actually. No, doesn't look like it's viable. <laughs> so this one will be full on Fiesta, I can tell you that much. Many people will not finish here. And uh, yeah, we will see. And it's actually gonna be CJ winning the warm-up here with a 108. Um, offer time is 43 seconds, so it is very likely that <laughs> nobody's gonna finish this one. Or like, nobody's gonna get the AT at least. So I think we're just gonna have a regular fifth place here. But we will see.
We will see, we will see, we will see. Who is it gonna be? Let's follow Camp 7 actually. Like you can risk this a lot, but it's really easy to also just full die. So, yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Currently it's Epiphany in first. Never mind, Epiphany should line. So it's Mitra overtaking. Together with some others. This part here, very tricky. Some people are going for the cut. And it's actually Hagen. Hagen is also not finalist. And I think uh, Carl Emil also is not finalist. And they have quite a lead. So if one of them makes it, we will go on to another round. Which is pretty interesting, to be honest. Yeah, no... It's nothing to be seen of Carl Emil. There. Yeah. And Hagen really has the potential to win all rounds here. Because Hagen is a wet wood enjoyer. A uh, wet icy wood enjoyer. I know that. Also a good time by him, I think, but uh, yeah, will definitely not be enough. It's, yeah, it's <laughs> this is 10 seconds behind AT. That's fucking crazy. 53.6, 5 seconds ahead of second. This map, um, yeah, no, this map is definitely not the greatest in the uh, repertoire. So yeah, if Hagen uh, finish, uh, wins the next two rounds as well, then uh, yeah, we could potentially see another map. Yeah, the thing is, for those of you who, are, who don't know, if you respawn, if you double respawn on ring checkpoints, it will take you back to the last normal checkpoint. And since there was no normal checkpoint, a double respawn here or here takes you all the way to the start. So who is coming? Nobody's here. Kanchika! Oh, Kanchika. Okay, okay, okay. Kanchika is finalist. Could Kanchika get fifth? He only got finalist recently, but he is being chased by Salik Gaming. But Kanchika looks like he has solid control over his car and he also has quite a lead. So will Kanchika... No, Kanchika sliding off! No! But what is Salik doing? It's the Stellar! No! Oliven! 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 But Kanchika is back with the respawn! Is Oliven gonna... I tapped out, I tapped out, I tapped out. Oliven is gonna make it! He has no speed! Kanchika with the snipe! Ain't no way! Kanchika with the snipe, what was that? Oliven went so much over the snow and Kanchika with the cinema snipe winning the round with a fucking respawn. That is crazy. That is crazy, eh? Holy moly, eh? Kanchika getting fifth place with that, winning 10,000 points towards the monthly leaderboard. Very well done, Kanchika. GG. And with that, this week's edition is gonna come to an ending. We sadly didn't have anyone beating an offer time would have been really cool, but it didn't happen. But we still have two more editions coming up where it could potentially happen. Either way, I really hope you enjoyed this edition. Let me know what you think about the special edition format with the unbeaten ATs. And uh, yeah, before you guys leave, um, the leaderboard should be updated very, very soon on E-Circuit Mania, where you guys can always see the result. I hope at least it should be updated soon. And let's see if it's already up to date or not yet. Yes, it is. Okay, so here you can see the results. We basically have the top three of um, this month's edition, Wosal, Elkon and Fredwolf, they got top 3, they are instantly qualified to the monthly final, then Lars winning the 15,000 points, Kanchika the 10,000 points, and then you see a lot of people with 7,500 points, these are basically all the players who reach the finalist mode, but without closing it out. So we have Mitra, Gaunheitstreik, Toto, Dennis, Maimo Jr., Link, Valegen, Marain, Marius, Epiphany, Arpa, Pass, uh, Intax, Hill, Centrian, CJ, and also Purple. They all got into finals without closing it out, so we have a big on tie here, but it will not look like that every single edition. And of course, um, next Monday we will be back with qualifier number two of the month, and then the Monday after for qualifier three. Once again, unbeaten ATs, once again the chance to qualify by beating one of them, or by just collecting points, or by getting top three. So a lot of different ways to qualify. Basically something for everyone. Uh, yeah, I really hope you enjoyed. Thank you very much for watching. I really hope uh, you had fun watching this and i hope we will see each other next week again for the people on youtube leave a like leave a comment and tschüssi mit Uzi. see you the next time bye bye